Danny from Lego Buff Productions here with another Lego Star Wars set review. And today we have the Snowtrooper Battle Pack, the set number is 8084. It's ages 6 to 12. It contains 74 pieces. And this came out in 2010 and retailed for $11.99 or 12 US dollars. And you can get this set for between 10 to 15 dollars now, which is actually a pretty good price. Uh, you do get four minifigs, three different ones. And here you can see the first one is the Imperial Officer. And this is actually a really cool minifig. Um, I think this is one of the only sets, if not the only set, that has this minifig. Uh, and there's some great detail on him. You can see that back printing. It's like a vest that he's wearing. It has like what rank he is right here. Those colored lines. And then he has binoculars and a regular short blaster. And he has this pretty cool helmet. It's not like a castle helmet. It's like a unique helmet to this minifig. So I thought that was pretty cool. And just like a regular face. So you can see the Imperial Officer. Next we have the Snowtrooper. Now you do get two of these. One has the long blaster and one has the regular short blaster. And... This is like just the generic snowtrooper, and I do actually like these clones. Or, or I guess you could call them clones, but they're more imperial clones. But they're actually pretty cool. Uh, it's pretty simple detailing, but I just like the effect it creates. And you could technically turn these into Republic Marines if you wanted to, um, if you paint them red and stuff. But they're really cool minifigs. And, like I said, it's not too much detail printing. There's a black head underneath. But I like this little headpiece that goes on him with the backpack. And our last minifig is the AT-80 Driver. And the one thing I do not like about this minifig is the helmet. Uh, it's really cool detailing on it. But it's way out of proportion. Way too big. Uh, here, I'll just take a regular Episode 3 clone helmet for the comparison. And you can just see right there how massive it is compared to the Episode 3 one. Definitely way out of proportion. That's, I think, Lego definitely went wrong there with making it that large. But there is great detailing on it, and on the torso there's some pretty cool detailing. So, it's an okay minifigure overall. There's a black head underneath. And on to the actual set part, which I think was actually pretty disappointing. Uh, you do get a speeder, which is actually pretty pretty okay for the set. Um, it's just a generic snow speeder. Basically, you take your snow trooper. Put it on the back. There's a backpack back there, even though they cannot wear a backpack. So that doesn't really make any sense. Uh, you wouldn't put the other minifigs on here, but whatever. You get a free backpack, so that's pretty cool. So you put the controls in his arms. There you can see. Looks like pretty cool. Nothing too special. Just the generic speeder design. But it is a nice feature of the set. And then here is the disappointment to the set. They made like a random command post, which just looks horrible in my opinion. Um, there's this little missile command system right here, where it shows the AT-AT driver operating. I don't know why he would be operating this, not the AT-AT, but for some reason he is. Um, there's no controls, which I thought was disappointing, just a red tile. Then you have this giant flick fire missile that you can rotate with this gear right here but it's a huge missile like it doesn't belong on a small little turret like this uh, so I think it's more for function and play not for detail and then over here I'm not this not really sure what this is supposed to be it's supposed to be like a sound satellite or something like that not really sure communications device but that's on there and then there's a little radar back here nice you get that piece you can take your uh, Imperial Officer, put his binoculars in the stand, and his weapon, his blaster, right there. And he can be looking at that radar just like that. 
And the one, the other disappointment is the AT-AT -AT driver does not come with a weapon, which I thought was very surprising. Well, the, no blaster or anything, so kind of a disappointment. But the speeder and the minifigs are pretty cool. So that is it for this set. Thanks for watching. Um, here's the box real quick. Boat Army, uh, like most battle packs do say. There's the back. Here's the instruction manual. And does have 19 pages of instruction steps, as most battle packs do. You do see a little battle going on, the pieces in the set, and some other sets that came out at the time. Uh, so that is it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to check out my channel for some other sweet LEGO videos. And in the description, there will be a link to all the battle pack reviews. So thanks for watching, and have a great day.